Yo, what up, Kenny Bogus, taste this. Welcome to another exciting adventure at Kenny's Kitchen with your boy Young Kitchen, that would be me. And yo, people, this week, man, we about to take it to the grill. Indoor, though, we finna keep it indoors, the indoor grill. I'm about to hit y'all with a grilled swordfish. Yeah, I got all kind of herbs, and you already know I can show you better than I can tell you, so uh, without you know, further ado, you about to see it. We about to do it right here, right now. Taste this chutch. Let's go. Okay, so getting started. What we have here, people, is a beautiful swordfish steak. Uh, it's about maybe about eight ounces, about an inch thick. And uh, what we're going to do first, and, I, and this is a various ingredients that we will uh, get to soon. But what we're going to do first is season the, uh, season the steak up. And we're going to take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Let's put a little bit, drizzle a little bit on top. Not a whole lot. And uh, kind of take a little spoon, spread that out real nicely. And we're going to uh, hit it with some uh, salt and pepper. Real, real simple. Gener be generous with it, you know, because uh, you're going to lose a little bit of the seasoning when you hit the grill with it. So don't be scared to be generous with it. Maybe a teaspoon and a half. The salt and pepper. And like so. And then we're gonna hit both sides, of course, y'all. So of course we're gonna hit it again. A little bit of that oil. And and not a lot, cause uh swordfish is already an oily fish. So we're just doing a little bit to kind of help the uh the seasoning it's sitting in that baby. All right, and same thing, you know, a little salt, a little pepper. All right. All right, so once we do that, we actually gonna substitute. We're gonna move this to the side and get another bowl because we're gonna get like a kind of marinade situation going on like this here. Okay, so we got a little small bowl here and we're gonna add to the mix four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. That's one, two, three, and four. Next, I measured up out about four uh, tablespoons of lemon juice I squeezed into this little ramekin. I'll add that to the mix. Then we're gonna take a tablespoon of capers And, uh, oh, we did the lemon already. I want to take the zest, uh, about a tablespoon of lemon zest. We're going to add that to the mix. And then we're going to add, uh, go to our uh, teaspoon section. So we got a teaspoon of, uh, sweet Spanish paprika. One of my favorite spices of all time. We got a teaspoon of, uh, crushed red pepper teaspoon of Italian seasoning and then we're gonna go fresh we're gonna hit them with uh, like two uh, well, actually not two but one tablespoon of uh, fresh chopped parsley there might be a little bit more I don't know I never know when I'm doing parsley how much is what so uh, I'm always kind of like mind bothered. So, but but you can't hurt with the parsley. And then we're gonna take a little, gonna whip it up, take everything, whip that thing up real nicely. And uh put this to the side, and then we're gonna move to the grill, y'all. Let go. Wait a minute, wait a minute, not before we add some garlic to the mix. We're gonna take a couple of cloves of garlic minced, drop that in the mix, forgot all about that part. Y'all gotta remind me, people. All right, then we're gonna give it another little, little whiskey, whiskey, whiskey real quick. All right, now let's move to the grill. Let go. Okay, people, so we got my favorite uh, cast iron skillet with the grill marks. And we got it, uh, got a little smoke coming off this thing, so it's, Gives me the sign and the signal that we're ready to drop this uh drop this swordfish. Let's do it. Oh yes. Now let's we're gonna let this go about maybe 
12 minutes total, five to six minutes per side. And this, my friends, is the flip. And let's get to the next, to the next, to the last, next to the next to the last step of this situation right here. Let go. Okay, take some alu uh, aluminum foil and we're gonna put like half of that mixture, a little concoction into the uh, aluminum foil. We're gonna lay our swordfish right there in it, all in it, and we're gonna spoon the rest of it on top. Like a so. Get all of that there. And we're gonna wrap it up and let it let it finish up cooking on the inside. And just let it finish up for another, like, I don't know about maybe five minutes or so, let it finish cooking. And then uh, we're gonna get to the plating, baby. So there you have it, people. There you have it. Real swordfish. Bubble style, tasty style, candy's kitchen style, church. I think you know what time of day it is. Let's zoom on in, y'all. Oh man. And I paired it with a little, little spinach. A little cream spinach. Oh man, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Well, people. You know what I'm about to say. Gratitude, man. We appreciate y'all. Keep on telling your peoples and your people's peoples. Keep on subscribing, smashing that like button so we can spread this thing out to a bigger demographic, the whole world, you know what I'm saying? And uh, man, drop in the comments what you want to see us do. Keep on checking us out right here on YouTube, IG, Facebook, tasteus.com. You know what I'm talking about. And uh, we're going to catch y'all next week, all right? Y'all be good. Church, it's all about flavor, baby. Yeah, man, there you have it. Real swordfish, done righteously as we always do, Kenny's Kitchen style, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, man, gratitude, can't say that enough. Subscribe, tell your peoples and your peoples peoples. Also can't say that enough, you know what I'm saying? Smash that like button, ring that bell, and uh, drop in the comments what you wanna see us do next week on Kenny's Kitchen. If it's fly, we gonna give it a try, man. And uh, on that note, man, I ain't gonna hold y'all longer. We gonna sign on off, y'all be good. Take care of each other, man, stay safe. You know what I'm saying, stay masked up and all that good stuff, and uh, catch y'all on the flip, all right? Judge, it's all about flavor, neighbor. <laughs>